Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm just putting together a breakfast casserole for tomorrow's ball game tailgate. Uh, Wake Forest versus Clemson. I'm gonna start with five eggs. I'm actually gonna start with six. Depends on how big your eggs are. I've got an aluminum pan, a 13 by nine inch, and I have just put um, some cooking spray in it. I'm gonna put the eggs together with some milk and I'm gonna use about a cup of milk. I'm gonna use heavy whipping cream, that's what I've got. That'll make them even richer. And I'm just gonna eyeball that. Let me grab a whisk and we can whisk this together. There's my whisk. Now to this, I'm gonna add just a shake, shake of, of uh, mustard, dried mustard, not a lot maybe about a fourth of a teaspoon, my salt and pepper, and that's to your taste. Remember, you, I've got, I'm gonna have some sausage in mine too, so I don't wanna over salt at this point. I'm gonna mix that up. Okay, now, now that's mixed up, let me grab my pan. I'm gonna put down a layer of bread. I had some Italian bread, ciabatta bread, that I had left over and I froze it. This is a perfect bread for this kind of casserole because it's kind of tough. So I'm gonna tear it up, put it in the bottom of the dish. And I'm gonna use some turkey sausage, that's what I've got. And I'm gonna use cheddar and mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. And this is definitely one of those recipes you can make it your own. So I'm going to put a layer of bread on the bottom. I'm going to bake this tomorrow morning, 350, till it's golden and bubbly and all the egg is, is gelled and cooked well. And you can see that by kind of wiggling the pan. Last piece, actually second to last piece, what am I saying? Okay, I'm gonna leave some room here because I'm gonna add a layer of hash browns, just the shredded hash browns out of the frozen section and I'm literally just gonna lay a layer there. I'll have some potatoes in there as well. That'll cook all together and be delicious. Okay, now, where's my sausage? This is already cooked sausage, so I'm literally just going to grab about four patties. And I'm going to tear them up, spread them out. You could use pork sausage or you could you, you could choose to use none. If you don't wanna put meat in it, you could put spinach in it. You could put anything in this casserole. Just about anything. Okay. Now, let me put that to the side. Now, what I wanna do is I want to put my egg mixture in. We're going to refrigerate this overnight. And that egg mixture and that uh, cream that is going to be soaked up by the bread. Now tomorrow morning, I may add just a little more milk to it, depending on how it looks. Because you'll need a little bit of liquid and you don't want to dry it out. Lastly, cheese. I'm going to use some mozzarella. And I'm gonna use some Tillamop cheddar. And I'm actually gonna give my hands a wash if I can get over the cookie monster who's sitting at my feet. Ain't that right, girl? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Okay, 
I'm going to use all of the cheddar. And this is a two cup bag. Spread it out evenly. You can always add salt and pepper later, but you can't take it away. I'm going to use a little bit of my mozzarella. Looks to be about a cup or so. And this, my friends, is going into the fridge. And tomorrow morning on 350, I'm going to bake this up where it's warm and bubbly and take it to the tailgate. Go Deeks. Thanks for tuning in. Give this one a try. It's great for supper or breakfast or brunch or a tailgate. See y'all. Bye.